Yeah, you like that? Your moves are hot, babe. Uh, yeah, baby, you know it. <laughs> hot because it's currently 108 degrees outside. And it's only 7 a.m. <laughs> oh, Cap. We're Cap and Josie Grimes. We take your worst matches from your dating app and turn them into your perfect match. Do you have the guts today to fix them up, Rick? I am Eve. I'm a full-time Insta model. I've been out here for six months. I always date pretty boys who turn out to be fuck boys. I'm hoping that the grinds can take a normal guy and turn him into perfection. Today we're working with Eve. We went through her dating apps to find her a fix them upper. Let's find Eve, her Adam. Or Adam and Jason. Let's get after it. I'm looking for a guy with a job a place of his own, and a healthy relationship with his mother. This first one has some great potential. And potential is the building blocks of perfection. <laughs> <laughs> hey. hey! Hey! So, how do you feel? A little nervous, especially since I haven't gotten my phone back. Oh, um, <laughs> I was playing Tomb Blast. <laughs> <Cap>. <laughs> So, match number one, what's your first impression? Wow, I'm wondering where the problems are. Well, let me tell you a little bit about match number one. We're calling this one the former model, or Alex. He's six foot one, 36 years old. Everything on the outside's in pretty much perfect condition. Now, He's got a face that just screams upper middle class, perfect for bringing home to mom and dad. Now he does have a few hang-ups about past relationships, but a good therapist can fix that up real quick. I feel like I like this one too much, and that sets off some red flags. Enough said, on to the next one. Next Let's number two. Tell me about him. Okay, so we're calling this one the creative millennial, or Liam. He's also 6'1", 32 years old. He's gonna take a little bit more work. He's got tons of character, a huge social media following, and he will definitely put you first because his mom taught him how to respect women. However, he's currently living out of his car he thinks his beard makes him look like Jon Snow, but that's an easy fix, all cosmetic. And he does have separation anxiety to his phone. I like that he can make me laugh. And the social media following is a huge plus. But the facial hair's a turn off. I don't know. All right, match number three. Let's get at it. Is this option three? I know he seems a little bit time-worn, but there's a lot of wonderful here. Time-worn. I love that. Sounds like one of those old rustic photos you'd buy at an amusement park for 50 bucks. Oh, cat. Now, this option has so much of what you said you were looking for. We're going to call this one Old Faithful or Daniel. So he's six foot one, 59 years old, and let me tell you, he has lived a life. He has done some stuff. He's a successful attorney, and you can see those long hours at the office right here on his face. Hey, but you can also see an immense kindness right in his eyes. Aw, oh, thanks kiddo. Here's a blank check. Buy yourself something nice. <laughs> he's got more money than you can count, and he's just looking for someone to spend it with. Now, sure, he's a little time-worn, but the lack of children means you would be the sole beneficiary if you play your cards right. <laughs> now, the best we can do is find a good doctor to buff out those years, throw a fresh coat of paint on him, and he'll be almost as good as new. All right, so we've given you three options. Now take some time to think about it. Think about it. Think about it.
So we hope you thought long and hard about it. So the former model would be great arm candy, but I'm looking for something more stable. The creative millennial, I feel like there's something there, but I'm not sure. And Old Faithful seems really nice, but does he even know how to use a computer? I have two master's degrees. I don't even know why I'm here. I'm a catch. You can't reel me in. I'm taking my helicopter and going home. You know what? Uh, what about out of your other two options? Creative Millennium. It's demo day. It's makeover day. Also known as Cap's favorite holiday. Makeover day. She chose the creative millennial, Liam. And today, we're getting to work. First, we're going to get him an apartment. Then, we're going to turn his social media following into something lucrative. And chip away at those rough edges by polishing up his look. Woo! Wait, it, it's this way, babe. It's this way. I look for Luke. That's my cat. But I don't want to shave. But you're going to look so much better, and Eve's going to like it. Yeah, it's gonna feel weird though. But think of the likes you're gonna get when you hashtag Transformation Tuesday. Oh, damn. Are you ready to meet your fix them upper? I think I might pass out. Well, let's do this. Bring him out. Damn! That was under there the whole time. I think I might pass out. <laughs> well, all we had to do was burn all of his clothes, introduce him to a stylist, get him a shave that trended on Instagram, which got him a paid sponsorship with Even Cuts Razor, so he'll be paid to maintain the look. And are you ready for the real kicker? What's this? Keys to your new apartment. We hope that you enjoy your Fix Them Upper. Let's bring this bring in, in here. Yeah. Oh, oh, come here, puppy, yeah. This is the best part of this whole show. Oh, I love this so much. I'll mm. live for this. We live for this, babe. We live oh, for this. Yeah. Oh, just one of these oh, in here, too. Nice. Yeah. It's nice that's and small. Nice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, 